my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing an all day wear test using this new foundation, or it's new to me, don't know if it's new, um, by Soap and Glory. It's called One Heck of a Blot All Day Liquid Powder Foundation. It's got Shine Block technology, 12 hour long wear, and super blur powders. Hmm. So this is supposed to last for 12 hours. We shall see how well this does. Um, it's supposed to control shine. It's supposed to deliver full coverage uh, coverage without cakiness. Who doesn't want full coverage without cakiness? And it's supposed to blur away the appearance of pores and imperfections. So this says that it's gonna do a lot. So let's see how this really does. So stay tuned. Okay, so we are going to try the one heck of a blot all day liquid to powder foundation from Soap and Glory. Um, so I got this through the mail. I think I bought it from Ulta, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's got a little pump. So we are going to add this on the face and see how this does. And I'm using a Makeup Geek foundation brush. It just says foundation stippling. Okay, so this is supposed to have Shine Block technology. Um, it's 12 hour. It's supposed to be um, a super blur powder. Um, so we're gonna see how well this holds up throughout the day. As far as the color goes, the bot, what's in the bottle or the it, um, the packaging looks a little bit darker to me than what came out on the skin. And I was trying to see if it had a color on here. Oh, the color that I'm using is called Fair Enough. So as far as the application goes, it went on pretty well. Um, I did use several pumps to get this coverage. I actually used this the other day and I wanted to try it again. So I am using more um, product today than I used the other day because I just wasn't satisfied with the coverage. So for a full coverage foundation, um, not really sure that that's quite what this is. It seems to be medium coverage, um, but it says it controls shine for 12 hours to buy delivers flawless full coverage, no cakiness, blurs away the appearance of pores and imperfections. So we're gonna do um, an all day wear test and see how it does. So stay tuned. I am actually surprised. So the other day, I, I've tried this a couple times um, this week and I did have one day where it was absolutely muddy. Um, so I decided to try it a few more times and I've not had that same issue. So this is actually the end of a day and it's been an end of a partial day. Let's put it that way. So this is six hours in and um, so being six hours in, I'm actually kind of impressed. Let's see what um, some of what I think after six hours. Um, a, it, it shifted a little bit on my nose which is not uncommon for most um, foundations on my skin. And I do have a habit of resting my chin on my fingers. Don't know why, it's just a habit I have. And I didn't realize I had that habit until I started reviewing foundations. So around the chin area, I do, um, I have wiped some of that off. As far, far as the blur technology, um, I would say it's, Really and truthfully, I don't know that it's any different than most foundations. Um, I have not used powder throughout the day. I have not touched up throughout the day. So after about six hours, it is holding pretty well. Um, very impressed with this. So also just so you guys know, um, I did not use a setting spray. So I don't know if that's the difference that I'm having today versus uh, another day is, was it the setting spray that made the difference? Because I didn't use one today and it's holding up so much better on my face than it has before. 
Um, so I don't know if the mixture between the Soap and Glory foundation and the setting spray was just, it just wasn't a good combo. But for whatever reason, this is working really well. So um, I, I kind of do like this foundation. And it is one heck of a blot. Now it does say that it is all day. So I don't know why all day is 12 hours. I'm usually awake longer than 12 hours, but um, that's what they say. And just for your knowledge, this color isn't fair enough. I was kind of shocked. I ordered it through the website on Ulta. And um, when I got this, I thought the packaging, it was a little, gonna be a little bit too dark for my fair skin. And it actually turned out to be lighter when I put that on. So I wanna thank you so much for watching this video today for a, I wouldn't say all day wear test since I've only had it on my skin for about six hours out of the 12 that this says that um, it can handle. I will say that this foundation has held longer than my false eyelashes. So, you know, my false eyelashes are popping off and this foundation has outlasted those, just saying. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And if you'll do me a favor, I have never used Soap & Glory products before. If you have and you've tested other Soap & Glory products and you really like them, I'd like to hear what you have to say. And if you have tried this foundation for all day or 12 hours versus my six, um, I would also like to hear what you have to say. So as always, um, you have a choice, so make it a beautiful day. Until next time.